Welcome to the move of the week, Sycamore Junior High. Today is Wednesday, a very rare 2-2-22. And welcome to this Groundhog's Day episode of the Daily Video Announcements. I'm Nikolai. And I'm Sam, and we're so excited to bring you today's news. The first is time to unite and honor America by standing together, placing our hand over our heart as we say the Pledge of Allegiance to together. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, and please be seated. Happy Groundhog Day. By the way, if you're wondering, the world's most famous groundhog, Tatani Phil, made his Groundhog Day 2022 call this morning. He says six more weeks of winter. Phil emerged from his burrow on Gabor Knob in Punxsutawney, Pennsylvania, for the first time this winter. And at 7.25 a.m., he saw his shadow as thousands of people watched on a sunny 29-degree morning in western Pennsylvania. I'm good with our winter and bring on the snow tomorrow. I will be wearing my PJs inside, out, and backwards to help the forecast. February is also Black History Month. Every February, the U.S. honors the contributions and sacrifices of African Americans who have helped shape the nation. This, the year's theme is Black Health and Wellness that pays homage to medical schools and health care providers. Yes, but first we would like to recognize Carter G. Woodson, the father of black history, who, f who first set out in 1926 to designate a time to promote and educate people about black history and culture. He is a historian and the president of the Association for the Study of African American Life and History. This week is also very special because yesterday, February 1st, the Winter New Year started in China. People of China celebrate with red clothing and decorations, giant family feasts, and fireworks and firecrackers. We did not we did not have announcements yesterday to talk about the New Year at the day it happened, but you may have seen the parade at school yesterday. The holiday lasts in a 15-day festival with no sign of swelling down. People who celebrate the Chinese New Year wish people Happy New Year by saying Xin Zhang Hao Ya, Xin Yin Hao Ya, that's how you say it. This year is the year of the tiger, Hu Day. This gives many of us great hope that the Bengals will be able to take the walk of the new year with them to the Super Bowl. Hu Day. Happy National Tater Tot Day. Wait, what? I said Happy National Tater Tot Day. Where all across America, people appreciate the fried snack many know and love. They'll give a national holiday to just about everything, won't they? No, no. You got it all wrong. National Everything Day is on August 3rd. <laughs> now for the fact of the day. The current American flag was made by a high school. Huh, interesting. Now, on to today's daily survey. We asked if you think we will have a snow day this week. We had 93 responses and 83, a little of 89% said yes. Yeah. Next up, birthdays. Happy birthday to Gavin L. Also, happy birthday to Sean A., Noah D., Danielle R., and Rhea S., who celebrated yesterday. We wish you a great and wonderful day to celebrate. Now on to our wonderful Mr. Harris for our important activity information as well as stay tuned for students of the week. All right, uh, good afternoon, Sycamore Junior High, and welcome to your daily announcements. All right, first of all, candy grams. They're going to be selling the candy grams. Last day to get those are going to be Friday in the resting room. Remember, those are five first class tickets, and make sure you know the flex bell of your friend. So that's how they're going to deliver those candy grams. So know their flex bell so you can get that delivered. And of course, my candy grams you can just put for Harris in room 213. Okay, just so you let you guys know. All ski club members, due to the storm coming in, okay, on Thursday, ski club for this Thursday, February 3rd, has been canceled. The fourth and last trip to Perfect North is going to be next Thursday, February 10th. All right, so make sure you let your parents know the ski club for tomorrow is canceled and you're going next Thursday. All right, mark your calendar for this year's Aviator Bash for Wednesday, February 16th from 315 to 530. And the Aviator Bass is a chance for kids to get together after school in a social situation, hang out, play games, listen to music, 
dance, eat pizza, etc., etc. This will be held in the junior high gyms and the resting room areas, and they'll send you more information as that day approaches. Hey, if you like running in a circle and turning left or throwing stuff in the air and seeing how far it goes or jumping over things, if you answer yes to these questions, then track is a sport for you. If you're in interested in track, please have your parent or guardian add track in the final forms and complete all of your paperwork. Practices will start on March 7th and held every day after school from 3.30 to 5 o'clock. Coach Wallace will be sending out more information about meets and schedules on final forms, so it's very important that you sign up on final forms so that keeps you updated. And again, that's for all spring sports that are going to be starting up here soon. All right, now, as mentioned before, February is Black History Month, all right? And that holiday was the brainchild of a man named Carter G. Woodson, okay? Carter Woodson was a Harvard PhD who started talking about having a week to celebrate African American achievements, all right? It started off as Negro History Week because in February because it included the birthdays of Frederick Douglass and Abraham Lincoln, all right? So, what we're doing is, is uh, this week or this month, we'll be highlighting different African Americans doing different things, all right? So different African American achievements. We'll be talking about medical professions, literature, science, athletics, entertainment, all those things we'll be doing on the video announcements announcing those achievements, all right? So thank Carter G. Woodson for doing this. Um, thank you for this expanding out to a whole month to celebrate the achievements of our of African Americans in the United States. And also today, it looks like it's raining, so unless you brought an umbrella, which none of you did, we're going to have indoor recess today. That's all for me. You guys have a great day, and hopefully I don't see you tomorrow. Hopefully I'll see you Friday. See ya. And now Mrs. Bernowski with Students of the Week. Hi, everybody. It is time for Students of the Week. These next four ladies were recommended by their teachers for Student of the Week because they were safe responsible, a problem solver, and respectful. Congratulations first to Kai Devon, nominated by Ms. Swenson. Congratulations, and as well as your Chick-fil-A gift card. Thank you, congrats. Next we have from Mr. Teets, Maddie Friend. Congratulations, Thank Maddie. You. Here you go. Thank you. Next from Mr. Tanaka's class, we have Jiffy Jose. Congratulations, <laughs> Jiffy. And your Chick-fil-A gift card. And lastly, but not least, we have Eileen Sakiva from Miss Sweeney's class. Congratulations. Thank you. You are welcome. And those are our students of the week. Okay, hey, what's for lunch? For lunch today, we will have the walking taco bar along with cheeseburgers and hamburgers. Remember to wear your pajamas inside out tonight for the snow day. And don't forget to also flush ice cubes down your toilet. Go A's! Go A's! Go, Go Bengals! Bengals.